Hi, I'm Maggie with Maggie'sCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do what we call the Royal Ridge Stitch and this is a dishcloth that was posted on BestFreeCrochet.com and it's number 111 of our dishcloth a day challenge that happened in 2011 and um, this one here was designed by Valerie Davis so I'm just going to show you a little sample of the stitch and it's super easy it's great for a beginner to try and um, as usual I'm going to start with a slip knot and then just for my sample here I'm going to chain 20 it doesn't even matter how many you chain, you could actually just chain until it's the length that you would like to see it, which is what I'm going to do now. This would make a great rug. You could do it in multiple strands of yarn, in different weights of yarn. It's just a good basic stitch to know. Okay, I don't even know how many chains I have. If your yarn ever splits and you only bring through part of the loop, you want to go pull that out and bring through the entire loop. Okay, so you have to have a crochet in the second chain from hook, but I don't like going in the second chain from hook. I'm going to go in the third chain from hook and I'm going to change that in the directions. And I do my double crochets in the fourth chain from hook. So let me go back. All right. So I'm going to go in half double crochet in the third chain from hook. So there's one, two, and three. So I'm going to yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through three. And then it says to half double crochet in each chain across. I think I have another video somewhere that tells you about working into the chain and how you can, there's all different ways of doing that. There's just a simple little trick to this stitch. I didn't even need to go this far. I did. Okay, so at the end it says to chain one turn like this, and then you turn like the page of a book. Now, the interesting part is typically you would go underneath the top two loops of your stitch like this, but this time you're not doing that. You're actually see this little bar right here right there you're going in that so you're going underneath it you're coming up from the bottom right there and then your hook comes up here you're actually pushing those two top loops behind you're yarning over and you're working your half double crochet there like that so then these two top loops that you typically work in are going to the back and the loop right underneath them right here is the one you want to work in. So I'm going to yarn over and the next one is right here. I'm going to go from the bottom straight up like this, yarn over, pull that through, yarn over and draw through two. So see on the other side it's making that cool looking ridge. I love it. It's so easy. Okay, so then you go right here, the loop underneath, like this, and you just do the same thing all the way across. So just like that, and then when, well I'll pretend that we're down at the end, so I'm going to chain one turn, like this, and see the ridge that was created? Now you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to go not underneath those two like you usually do for a regular stitch. You're going to pick up that loop there and work your half double crochet in that loop. It 
so you just that's how easy it is you just keep working in that loop that's the simple little trick for it Just like that. Okay, chain one turn. And now the all the ridge is always on the back side of where you're working because it's those two top loops that get pushed to the back that creates that. So the ridge is going to alternate. So the ridge was over here, now it's over here. So you can see that in the dishcloth here. So I never imagined that that was that stitch, that it was so easy. And I love how there's a ridge and then there's this open space here. It almost looks like knitting. I think it's beautiful. And you know what? You could actually use a lighter weight yarn for this. And it the fabric would be beautiful for a sweater. Just gorgeous. I love this stitch. Anyway, so that's how you do this Royal Ridge stitch. The hook that I'm using is a Tulip Edamo hook that I absolutely love. And this is available at maggiescrochet.com. And the link for this pattern will be below the video here on YouTube. And I hope that you join my channel because every time that we post new videos and we've got some exciting videos coming out like at least two a week, if not more. And then when you're subscribed, you'll be notified when the new videos come out. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps you to master the art of crochet.